flat. Oh, really? You know how you can tell? Water. Okay. Water's level. Okay. It's one of the most accurate leveling devices on Earth. And we're, they're discovered in it. Is there a point? You have a point? <laughs> well, hold on. There's another way you can tell. Oh, right. The horizon. The horizon always stays at your eye level, no matter how high you go up. The horizon always remains at your eye level. Now on a ball, any size, the horizon would drop away. 360 degrees around you, it would drop away. So as you rose, you would have to look down to see the horizon. Does this have a relationship to the Bible? Yeah, it has everything to do with that book. So, you live in air pressure. So, 14 pounds per square inch on your body all, uh, when you're on Earth, okay? So what do you need to create air pressure? A container. Now, I need to know something. Why are you telling us this? <laughs> because it's written in that book. It says side? it in that book, yeah. <laughs> I promise you, you haven't seen the curvature of the Earth. Okay. Look up Job 38.18. Did you do what? Job 38.18. Job. Just read the book of Job, chapter 38. I, I read it. The whole thing. I read the whole God thing. describes the earth. He says he's bounded the oceans. What are you trying to make? <laughs> I'm trying to tell you that if you believe you live on a spinning ball, are you Catholic? Because guess who came up with the spinning ball in space? The Roman Catholic, the Jesuit order of the Roman Catholic Church. I don't Copernicus was a Jesuit Catholic priest. What, what are you trying to say to us? <laughs> the reason they made up the ball spinning in space was to dis discredit that book. Okay, so are, 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 to come up with evolution, the Big Bang, all that crap. So are you are, are you you're saying you you believe in the Bible? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Okay, well you don't need to tell us all that. We believe in it. We, you don't need to give us. All I'm that. trying to help my brother out and tell him that believing in a ball spinning in space is absolutely crazy. It doesn't match natural science. Uh, so not, you guys I don't know why you're trying to convince us here. Are you guys sweat. Protestants? What does it make? Well, you're Bible, Bible we're Jesus believers, followers. right? Yeah, we're Jesus followers. And you're a flat earth believer, so who cares? <laughs> why are you so afraid of the flat earth? I'm not. I'm not afraid you're of afraid it. Of I just don't understand everything. why you're making Everybody think you're nuts? Afraid of losing money? No. Afraid of being ostracized by the public? Apparently not. We wouldn't be sitting here studying the Bible in public. <laughs> right, but you're not. It, you, you still thinking you live on a ball spinning in space? That's the problem. I don't care. <laughs> you don't care? Uh, <clears throat> I don't think it makes any difference no, to my religion no, or no, my belief. I don't care one bit. You're following a Catholic religion. That's a religion, you know. The globe is an idol. I'm following scripture. I, 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 I don't even know what you're talking about. Just research NASA. Research the flat earth. Re study, study natural science. Who cares? Who that, cares? Well, that enhance our... Yeah, who cares? <laughs> who cares? Yeah, who cares? You know, cares? the whole world's right, deceived, here. right? The whole world believes they think they live on a spinning ball, endless space. That God is some monad. You know, the Bible teaches God sits above the center of the earth. You know Werner von Braun? The guy who made the rockets? You know what's on his gravestone? Psalm 19.1, read it. Sorry. To God is mighty, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. You want us to go over there? No, I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys in peace. Funniest thing I've seen in ages. <laughs>